Yeah. 
uh, actually uh, excited over people talking about or putting them in a vice needs to go back and revisit their confidence in the one who called them. Any Christian, any leader, any choir member, uh, any pew member that, that gets a little bit disturbed, even to the extent of quitting the church, needs to go back and because of nothing but trouble. Have we got a real? Now, if you put that verse back up there, the fourth verse, I cry aloud. Does everyone see that? Raise your hand if you see it. Do you see a word at the very end? It's spelled S E L A H. Amen. Now, no one in that dispensation knows exactly what that means. But since it is a song, there has been many that have researched the placing of that word, which is not sila, it's sela. It's sela. S e and then it's the l l a h. So from greater Trinity standpoint, and you being a Trinitarian, don't call it Selah no more. It's Selah. And the reason why I'm making that point is, it's there for a reason, even though it is a song.
Is anybody here this morning? Yes, sir. Look at the difference between the first and the sixth verse. You want to know how you get relief? You call God. And you, you admit that there are foes around. And I'm not afraid of thousands of people who have taken their stands, their stand against me. Oh. Hello. Hello. 